really excited to be filming this. Um, I'm showing you my extremely messy desk because that's something that I plan to address, but welcome to a writing vlog. I haven't done one of these in a really, really, really long time. I haven't even looked to see how long it's been, but this is to kick off the start of Campaign Arrimo. There are children screaming, I hope you can't hear that. July Camp Nano has a special place in my heart because seven years ago, oh my gosh, was that seven years ago? Is when I started writing the Elysian Prophecy during the July Camp Nano. So if you don't know what Nano is, it's National Novel Writing Month. It takes place every November. And the goal is to write 50,000 words during the month of November. Camp Nano is I think in April and July. And for Camp Nano, you can set whatever um, like goal that you want during the month. So my goal for this month is, I don't know, I think maybe to write 30,000 words is what I wanna start with. I am going to be jumping in with a brand new project. It's not going to be in the Elysian Prophecy series. Um, it's actually going to be a totally different genre. I'm planning on writing romance. It's not a secret. Adult romance, particularly contemporary, but we'll see. I haven't totally figured out what I'm gonna write, which is kind of what this vlog is for. I wanted to start this about a week ago, but Isla got sick and then she had these like crazy hive breakouts and it was just like a nightmare. So I didn't get to properly prep for Nano because I pretty much don't know what I'm writing. I have a very basic idea and I am kind of an outliner. I, pl I pants, but I'm, I like to start with a pretty good outline. So that's my goal for this video. It might be a few days long, it might be a week long, I don't know yet, it just kind of depends on how long it's gonna take me to outline this story. So, one of the tasks in prepar 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 preparing for Camp Nano is to organize my desk because there's a huge stack of papers. Like, I haven't really used my desk in a long time and you can tell because it's just accumulated a bunch of junk. Ch kind of a challenge for me this month is going to be balancing what little time I have to do anything with freelancing and writing. So we'll see how this goes. I am not one that likes to sacrifice sleep because I have been sleep deprived for years now. <laughs> I don't want to force myself to be sleep deprived to write. So challenge number two is I still have a lot of joint pain and I have flare ups and unfortunately I'm having a flare up right now. Um, so Pretty much all of the joints in my body hurt. Um, so, and that's with like my current use and like um, like computer use and like just daily use. So I'm worried that when I start typing heavily again, that it's gonna get even worse. So we'll see. I guess I will show you me organizing my desk. I do have some more freelance work that I have to do today, but tomorrow, um, I might wake up early to work on my story. That was something that I used to like doing, but like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sacrifice sleep because Isla still isn't sleeping totally consistently. So it's going to depend a lot on her and what she lets me do, but I'm really excited. I'm excited to be vlogging. I'm excited to be writing. Even when I started brainstorming this story idea, I was getting really excited and like giddy because it's just been so long since I've worked on on a story. I will also, you can probably hear my refrigerator. Let me go shove it. I'm gonna go shove my refrigerator. I'm pretty sure my ramen is a little too done. But anyway, I've just been so excited. I'm sorry if you can hear the refrigerator. I am excited to write. I'm excited to vlog, like make videos. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing to prepare for Nano. One of them is cleaning this desk off, but I'll show you the two books that I'm using to outline. Isla likes my books, so they might be anywhere in the house right now. Um, and I'm doing like a combo of those two books. They're my two favorite outlining books, but I'll tell you about that later. I'm gonna eat my soup, do some freelance work, maybe clean this desk tonight. <laughs> There's a dog toy. I mean, oh my gosh, not a dog toy. <laughs> 
an Isla toy, a kid toy, a regular toy. <sighs> That's how tired I am. So I wanted to go over the outlining books that I'm going to use. I just wrapped up my freelancing work for today. I'm so tired. I'm just exhausted. Um, but I have about, I think, 35 minutes before I have to go get Isla. So I wanted to quickly go over this and then try to get some outlining done. So the first book that I'm using is The Anatomy of Story. This is like my favorite outlining book ever. It's kind of dense. It's not like a quick you know, um, like the other book is pretty quick, but there's some really great characterization exercises in here and just like, I feel like I need to read this from start to finish again, just to get like storytelling in this. It's explained so well. So I'm using this, I'm only taking like tidbits from it. I'm not doing all of the writing exercises in here for my books, but I'm taking some pieces of this and then I'm using, um, save the cat writes a novel. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I'll link both, both of these books down below and the third one that I'm using, which I forgot about earlier, but um, yeah, this one is a lot like, not simpler, That that's like a negative thing, but it's a little more straightforward um, in kind of like the outlining. And this is like characterization, setting, like this is the whole package. And this is kind of, I mean, it also is, but you get what I mean. This one's like complicated. I'm also, I have this one in ebook. I'm also using Romancing the Beat. One of the things that I'm really worried about is I have never written a romance book. I have read a lot of romance books, but reading and writing are two totally different things. So I'm really worried that I'm not going to like hit the tropes or like hit the beats that need to happen in a romance book. I want it to be four books. I am going to start the outlining process with basically figuring out what character I'm following for each book and what their sort of storyline is, who the secondary character, like the romantic interest is for each of those four books. And then I'm actually thinking of writing backwards. I might start with book three, just with the release schedule that I'm thinking of with this series. I might start with, start with book three and then go back to one and two. Um, because I don't want the first book in the series to miss anything, you know? I want to sort of get in the rhythm of writing a romance book. So that seems like an, I've never used that tactic before, but I really want the first book to be really good because it's the intro into the series. I'm kind of excited about this little idea that I have. I had a separate idea, but... I, this is kind of like a passion project for me, so about a month ago, I was passionate about the other idea, but now I'm like, mm, I have this new idea that I'm kind of, that I'm really into, so. Um, yes, I'm going to try to do some of that outlining and figure that out right now. I hate that I'm so tired, though, because I don't, I feel like it's not going to be as productive or, like, as the quality is not going to be as good, but we got to go with what we got. I am excited. I'm just really tired. <laughs> have a series title. There's still a lot of things that need to be fleshed out, but it just popped up literally on like the fifth line of my brainstorming. I'm tired, but apparently, I don't know, maybe this is an idea that tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up and be like, what were you thinking? And another thing, <laughs> I just came up with the cover idea for the first book. This sounds totally silly, but I am tired, but that was just so like 
exciting that not exciting i'm just like so happy to be like creating a world and characters and everything that that was just like now i feel like i just had like a shot of espresso and i haven't felt like this in a long time i'm mad at myself for staying away from writing for so long but i'm glad that it's just making me happy i thought i was gonna get the birds chirping and instead i'm getting air conditioning good morning I had planned to be downstairs at 5.30 and it's now 6.40. <laughs> I'm so tired. I had a really long dream, which I can't remember. Oh my god, remember. remember. What is wrong with me right now? <sighs> so tired. My eyes are so puffy when I wake up in the morning. This outfit is in part inspired by Peaky Blinders and Downton Abbey, but also it's kind of a little hint to the books that I'm writing. cleaner than it has in a long time. I have not worked for my desk in a really long time, which is why it looked so crazy. It's still not perfect. I still have a Ninja Foodie sitting next to me, um, but I am so exhausted and tired. It is 8.45 and I'm about to answer a couple of messages with my fiber stuff and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm so tired. Ugh. I feel like it was a really productive day, but I'm so tired that I feel like I can't look back and think about what I did. <laughs> I feel like I did a lot, but I'm like, what did I do today? So, good night. See you in the morning, hopefully early with some writing. Not writing, we're outlining. I'm tired, I'm sorry.
come on here and go ahead and wrap up this week's vlog. I originally planned for this to be outlining the first book completely vlog, but I didn't anticipate it taking me this long, which is kind of like, I don't know why, because that's what I do every time. Um, but so this is just going to be the first week of NaNo. I'm going to try to have this video edited and uploaded by the 7th or the 8th, but We'll see because I only really have like an hour or two every day where I can kind of work and then I have to try to squeeze it in wherever I can. So um, I'm still doing freelance um, stuff during the day too. So I have a project I'm going to start working on right now, a client project, before I can kind of jump back into outlining the first book. But I'm really excited. I can't believe I am working on a book, much less a series. I also started listening to Seven Figure Fiction, and there's a really long subtitle. I think it's by T. Taylor, which I think is Theodora Taylor. She writes romance, but um, yeah, I'm trying to incorporate, like include some of that too in the outline, so I'm trying to listen to it really quickly so I can include some of it in this book. Um, but yeah, I'm like super excited that I'm almost to the point of writing. I feel like when I'm done with the outline and I actually sit down to write, I'm gonna be like, like, I don't even know how I do this. I'm excited for it and I'm nervous for it, so, because it's been years since I've worked on anything. I think I, I think I almost finished the third book in the Elysian Prophecy series, first draft, um, and the second book, is completely finished. I just have to do a few typo things, errors that, that my typo team found, and it's literally ready to be published. But I stopped working on that two years ago. I don't even know when that was. Um, so, oh my gosh, was that two years ago? So let me know if you're working on a project for Camp Nano how it's going, what phase you're in, if you anticipate writing at all this time, or if you're outlining or um, editing. Um, it's been years since I've signed off on a video, so I guess I forgot how to do it, but I will see you guys next week for another vlog and um, week two of Camp Nano. So hopefully by this time next week, I'll actually be writing, which is crazy. I forgot to mention because I'm still a total noob at this again. Um, next week's vlog will I'll discuss how I'm using um, Google Sheets to outline um, because I'm doing something totally different that I haven't ever done before um, and it's working really well so far. So if you're plotting something like what I'm plotting, because this method wouldn't have really worked for the Elysian Prophecy as well, um, I guess if you're writing romance or something to that effect. You'll find out what I'm talking about more next week. I'll kind of go over that. All right, bye.